square and its properties. So how we can define the square? So let's see how a rectangle. So square definition will come from rectangle because rectangle definition we are taken from the parallelogram. So a rectangle. So you have seen already properties of rectangle. A rectangle having all sides. A rectangle having having all sides. All sides equal. So rectangle having all sides. If every side is equal, then only we can call it a square. So all sides equal is called a square. Yeah. So this way you can define. Now let me take the square diagram. So generally all sides must be equal. So if it is a square. Vertex A, B, C and D. Now let me explain the properties of this. So in this uh, opposite sides, so same actually uh, what are the properties are there in rectangle, same will follow. So since opposite sides are equal, so here all the sides are equal. That means same other properties. So AB is equals to AB, BC and CD and AD. So four sides are equal. And same if two adjacent sides of rectangle are equal also then it's called a square you can see. So see the properties. Same properties from rectangle so but extra one more uh, property will add in the square. So let me show you that. So first one all sides are equal right in a square is ABCD all sides are equal. This is the first property. This is from the uh, definition all sides are equal so that is you can say ab is equals to bc is equals to cd is equals to da right yeah. now each angle measures 90 degrees so same property from rectangle is also each angle each angle is equals to 90 degrees so in right angle right angle each and everything so every side is perpendicular to adjacent side so every angle is 90 degrees and diagonals are equal in this also diagonals are equal so here diagonals are a to c right a c is a diagonal and b d is a diagonal two diagonals are equal and diagonals bisect each other so in this square Diagonals are bisect each other. Same diagonals bisect each other. So if the common point is O, then O A is equals to O C and O B is equals to uh, O D. And extra another property. These four properties we have seen already in our rectangle. And here diagonals intersect at right angles. Okay, diagonals intersect intersect at right angle that means even you observe this so this uh, AC and BD are intersecting at O the intersecting angle is at 90 degrees so that is a perpendicular bisectors that means you can say them perpendicular bisectors so angle is 90 degrees so every angle this also 90 this also 90 and this uh, angle AOB is 90, BOC is 90, similarly COD and AOD also is 90 degrees. So, so you can say diagonals intersect intersect at right angles. That is AC is, uh, AC is perpendicular to BD. This is a perpendicular symbol. So this is extra another property you can see in the square. All the sides are equal. Same properties the diagonals, will, diagonals are intersecting each other at the same time they bisect each other so that's why you can call it as a perpendicular bisectors so diagonals of square are perpendicular bisectors right these are the properties about a square next after square we'll see and properties of trapezium also now 